Hello folks, and welcome back to the Free March. This was another game that came recommended to me, The Company of Myself. Do you have a minute? I'd like to tell you about myself. The first thing you need to understand is that I am alone. I've been alone for a pretty long time now. I'm used to it. I'm content. Before I became more or less a hermit, I found that I had two passions in life. One was performing. Even today, when I found that I can't relate to others, I can still stand in front of them and make them laugh or surprise them. The irony is strong enough to taste. It doesn't taste good. In case you're wondering, my second passion was a girl named Catherine, but I'll get to her later. I generally face the same day-to-day -day problems as every other person, except that every other person gets stuck and they have friends and associates to back them up. I don't. I know that you don't want to hear me describe my admittedly less than fascinating lifestyle, so instead I'll describe my day much more interesting allegory. I used to find joy in the company of others. Now I have only the company of myself. A little bit fast to read that. <laughs> my attention is stolen by a green square. On the other end of the room, I want to be its friend more than anything that I've ever wanted. I decide to use the arrow keys to approach it. The square does not react to my approach. Does it notice me? Or is it only pretending not to notice me? Which would be worse? Up close I can see that the ground green square is actually a door. I think that we have been can be friends anyway. I decide to push the space bar to move to the next room. Spotting a couple of platforms up ahead, I decide to use the up hour key to jump over them. Take that, platforms. I decide that Mr. Door is a better friend than the platforms. I also note that I can pause the game by pressing P or the Enter key. Now that risk is involved, jumping on the platform doesn't seem so easy to me. I start thinking about how awful it would be to fall. Luckily, I know that I can push the R key at any time to restart the level. I find myself proud of, and possibly surprised by, my ability to leap over harrowing gaps. Even from back here, I can tell that the ledge ahead of me is too high to jump. I begin to wonder what would happen if I pressed the spacebar before I completed a level. Oh. Whee! I feel confused and a bit tingly, but mostly just confused. Briefly attempt to think of something to thank. Nothing worthwhile emerges. I haven't talked to anyone lately but at least I can solve my own problems. Ah, shoot. Oh, this is interesting. Oh my god, this is really trippy. This is really freaking trippy. <laughs> oh my god. Geronimo. I see a brick wall on the path to the exit. I am dissatisfied. The air area down below is... Press the A key. Okay. Now if I do that... I assume my ghosty... I am grateful of my above-average ability to work alone. I notice a strange forefield in this room. I become gradually more and more curious. So I assume... Oh, but does it block... Shadow me? It does block Shadow me. Alright, so what if I went over here? Understanding the force field, I notice that this room's field is greenish instead of pink. I can't walk through it. 
I gotcha. Staring at this worthlessly large staircase, I reflect on my past struggles. Oh man, this is going to be miserable. Let me restart this. Let's see if I did it. Nice! Luckily for me, no one was watching as I hopped around like a crazy person. I search for reasons why I don't desire companionship. Oh, I can only have one little guy that time. Oh, I get this one. Okay. No, that's not what I want to do. Yeah. I settle on avoidance of the issue. I can clearly get by without others anyway. I find myself unable to leave the question alone. Why can I not be with people? I instantly notice how similar this room looks to my previous one, and almost feel cheated until I realize that my previous tactic will not work again. Alright, so what we're going to do here... Oh, you know what? No, I know what I can do. It doesn't take long for me to understand that I'm going to need some uh, timing to get through here. Uh, I see. Alright, so let's think about this. God. I've gotten used to the idea of solving mental problems, but I still enjoy a test of my physical abilities here and there. I think back to the first day that Catherine and I met, our paths converged and suddenly we were a team. This was before I was reclusive as I have become today, so I had not learned to truly multitask yet. That talent grew out of simple necessity. Oh, Spacebar controls her then. Her approach was quiet, as was my response. The connection was instant and, and unmistakable. A 
16. Folks, when we faced a problem, we would solve it together. Today, I find myself solving the same problems alone. I was underappreciative, plain and simple. Didn't understand just how much I needed her. How much she needed me. Perfect. Everything. It was all perfect. I helped her and she helped me. suspected the end to come so quickly. Wait. The only way... I Fare thee well. I found myself crushed by guilt. I didn't leave the house for days. I find myself alone. I can't handle talking to people anymore. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. This one's going to be brutal. No. Damn it. This one's going to be very, very challenging. Internally, I visualize an overexcited man yelling checkpoint. Yeah, so it had to be something else. I gotcha. Okay. Once he hits the lever. Hit the lever! Hit the lever! Eventually, do it. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Failed off. I grudgingly consider how the ability to start over from a different perspective would have helped earlier in life. Maybe I could have let Catherine not meet me in the first place. And like this. I continue. Uh, oh, you know what? I know how to do this one. I think. What if I jumped? You know, let's restart. What if I jump? Two, one. 
second, three, one second, four, one second, five, one second. <laughs> So I need a couple guys. Second, two, one second, three, one second, four, one second, five, one second. jump right away. God. Why is this so tough? What? Oh my God. because you got to jump right away. I figure if I just keep building this thing high enough... Okay, I think we're getting a little silly, but... Oh, you know what? I would have need to go one more. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, just touching that. Okay. What? Don't leave yet. I have more to say. I really do. How the fuck? Oh, God. That one's going to be brutal. Start walking. Ah. Now I waited too long. Or waited too short. Alright. Huh. Maybe do I just have to... Oops. Do I just have to keep, like... Thank you. 
figure if I just keep throwing enough of my bodies off the... Damn, that's closer to what it is, though. <laughs> just keep throwing yourself off the cliff. One of these guys will eventually make it. Hey! Are you really leaving? I guess I am. It's the end of the game, right? I've been tasked with psychoanalyzing Jack after his mental breakdown and in general he recalls his life very accurately. The things he says line up with all of his records. The problem is that he doesn't seem to remember any of my visits. I've talked with him once a week for the past eight years, and he always tells me the same things as if we have never met before. He describes himself as a loner and makes a whole lot of sense as he has kept in solitary confinement for the duration of his stay at the hospital. He always briefly talks about his life and eventually gets into the story about how he lost a loved one, Catherine. He understands that she has died, and he certainly feels at least somewhat responsible, but he doesn't recall that he murdered her. She was found buried in a backyard in a green package. Evidently, it was the only box large enough to use for a coffin that Jack could find. Also, with the note were the two flowers that he planted next to her makeshift grave. He considers her death to be the reason that he can't talk to people anymore. I suppose that in a way he's correct. This will be my final report on Jack. I don't find any reason to believe that he will recover from his current state of severe mental illness, and he is far too dangerous to himself and others to allow release. Well. Okay. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, that was The Company of Myself. A pretty interesting game. I just find that really fascinating in games. You think you're playing a game, and you don't realize just how quote-unquote serious that the game can be. So, uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. But... Anyway, folks, as always, thank you very much for watching. Tune into the rest of the free march. Thanks for watching, folks.